Hey, snot faces, what about making yourselves useful? How? You could stick this conductive antenna into that outlet. You mad? You mustn't poke things into outlets. Oh, yada, yada, yada. You must have misunderstood. I've done it a thousand times. There you go. And now? Hold on tight. Just wait. It's about to start. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Did you say something? No need to worry. Nothing happened to Uncle Rufus. <laughs> you bitch your relation! Okay, right, snot faces. Time to sleep. Yeah, but. Save your breath. No yeah buts. You got light, you're warm, and you already blew your veto. So there you go. Good night. What's wrong? Why are you still awake? You haven't tucked us in yet. <laughs> tucked you in? <laughs> like a shirt tail? No, not like a shirt tail. When you put children to bed, you need to tuck them in. Don't you know anything? Sure, I know plenty of stuff. Like uh, a napkin, right? And what I ask you could be tastier than meat in a light pastry crust. Mmm, smells delicious. Ah, a cooking show. Just the thing to make you fall asleep. I don't have anything left. Absolutely nothing. A reasonable sales because I don't know. What's this? A handsome applicant. Mm. <laughs> what? Hey! Whoa! Huh? Oh. Burrito wraps, just one twenty-five zlotys a piece. <laughs> Bravo! Encore! Burrito wraps, just one twenty-five zlotys a piece. Wow, I see you've really gotten into your new job. Burrito wraps, burrito wraps. What's wrong with him? He's focusing. You are his first customer after all. Are you sure? Burrito wraps. He seems kind of moonstruck. Burrito wraps. Trust me. That's perfectly normal. The host has still to adapt to the symbiote. The host? Uh, a host. You have to be a good host if you sell burrito wraps. Perfectly normal. Four burrito wraps, please. Four burrito wraps coming right up. That will be five zlotys. Come again any time to... I, uh... I think there's something wrong with your assistant. What? Has his system crashed? Uh, try turning him off and then on again. Burrito 
three toe wraps, just 125 zlotys a piece. Ah, there we go. Please excuse the small glitch. No problem. It's so hard to find good employees these days. Watch out, it's gonna get really comfortable now. For me at least, because your constant whining will come to an end. There, now go to sleep. I don't know. Come on, don't pretend to be more stupid than you already are. I mean, I know you're dumb, but you can't be too dumb to fall asleep. In that case, even those sleeping scorpions back there would be smarter than you. Oh wait, my bad, they're not actually sleeping, they're lurking. What's wrong? Why are you still awake? We're hungry. Ah, uh, you're cold, overexcited, and hungry. What'll it be next? A classic like I Need the Bathroom? Well, actually... Ah, uh, share goalie's bucket. Yuck. Hey, snot noses, here comes your grub. This'll get you nice and tired. <laughs> Man, did they dig in. They only left one plate, and now they're asleep. Actually, they're kind of cute. <laughs> I could just eat them up. There it is. Hey, there it is. The nucleic acid that I can use to grow goal up again. Luckily, the cylinder still seems to be in one piece and the fish was already swimming in it. Oh, a new customer. What can I do for you? Yeah, I need that uh, cylinder with the uh, green fluid over there. The nucleic acid? A good choice. This stuff just came in. Yeah, I know. That was a mistake. Actually, it belongs to me. Dream on, kid. I paid the five slotties for it. But I'd be glad to offer you a special price. Hmm. And that would mean... It costs more money than there is in the entire sewers. Exactly. An unimaginable, unprecedented amount. Six slotties. I need the nucleic acid extremely urgently. The fate of the world depends on it. Six Zlotties and it's yours. A tankard of your finest swill, please. Sure thing. Have you got the five Zlotties on you? What? You pay cash here? <laughs> How old fashioned. Where I come from, I could just put the swill on my tab. Tab? Like some sort of loan? Yeah, exactly. Then my customers could drink a lot more. You've grasped the principle. And I would earn a lot more. Yeah? I mean, yes, of course. That doesn't sound too bad. Help yourself. And if you bring my other customers something too, you're welcome to put a two-slotty tip on the tab. Oh, yeah. Deal. Can I put the nucleic acid on my tab? You must be out of your mind. It's worth a fortune. <sighs> I'll get the money somehow. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Six Zlotties. There isn't even that much money down here.
I like that picture of Elysium. Can I have it? No. The picture stays where it is. It's important. What for? For the customers. What for? Because it cheers them up, right? On the contrary. It keeps them in a permanent state of dissatisfaction. That's Elysium. The symbol of hope. Of a better life. A life of order and satisfaction. I'm sort of only one step away from it. You want something to drink first? Yeah, sure. Nice clientele. Yeah, if you like freak shows. Hey, is that any way to talk about your customers? Well, look at them. A parade of sad sacks without a single prospect among them. You know, those sad sacks are your livelihood. Oh, I didn't mean any disrespect. I'm just a realist. If you want to feel better about yourself, then everybody else has to feel worse. Right? What? No, it, do it doesn't work like that. Oh, you want everybody to feel better? Yeah, as long as I'm one of them, yes. Then answer me this simple question. Better than who? Well, <laughs> uh... You seem familiar. Do you have any siblings? I had a brother. Had? What happened? He tried to smash a stone block with his head, just when I told him to go easy on the mushrooms. <sighs> Whatever. Just leave me alone. Unless you want to buy me a drink. You seem familiar. Aren't you that dog groomer to the stars? Eh, close. I'm a fruit seller. I inherited the business from my father. They called him King Peach. You're the heir to the famous King Peach Empire? That means you're... At risk of alcoholism, exactly. So beat it, unless you want to buy me a drink. You seem familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? Well, do you know the comic book Charlie the Friendly Yeti? Of course. I'm a big fan. No, no, no. Don't tell me. Oh, yeah. I'm... <gasps> the original character? What? No, I'm the guy that delivers the ink. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> terrific. But you know, they always do stare at me and scribble frantically whenever I arrive. I think I need more alcohol, so you beat it. Unless you want to buy me a drink. Hey, hands off! We don't serve that stuff here anymore. Why not? For one thing, I ran out of slime pipe mouldings. For another, the stuff has a bad effect on my customers. And it's hard enough running a pub without the customers flinging turtle shells at each other. Hey, hands off! We don't serve that stuff here anymore. Why not? First of all, because my customers act like monkeys when they drink that stuff. Secondly, because it's a hell of a lot of work to get all the hair out of the tankards. And thirdly, because it's getting harder and harder to get the secret ingredient ever since my mother started the menopause. Hey, hands off! We don't serve that stuff here anymore. Why not? Well, first of all, because it has an unacceptably negative effect on the morale in this pub. And second, there have been complaints that in some cases, the effects of the brew can only be reversed by surgical intervention. Refills! Ah, uh, finally. Ugh. Uh, what 
lousy swill. It doesn't compare to the yummy mushroom slops they used to have here. So no tip for you. As a witch, you must know a lot about mushrooms, right? I'm not a witch, you lout. Yeah, never mind that. Do you know if I can find a mushroom like this around here? It just so happens I do. Yes. And? Which is it? One of these here? Three guesses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if that's all... Two more tries. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, got that wrong. Sorry. One more try. Got it with you, right? <laughs> you guessed right. Congratulations. Here, go ahead and take it. <laughs> Thanks. It's been itching like hell. Yeah, that's going to be tasty. I always said I had the makings of a bartender. Refills! Ah, uh, finally. Whoa! What is this? I feel great! Bigger and stronger! <laughs> uh, maybe because you're standing on the table? Fantastic stuff! You go ahead and add a tip to the tab! Refills! Finally. Ugh, what lousy swell. That don't compare to the yummy hormone swell we used to have here. Ah, no tip for you. Yeah, that's going to be tasty. I always said I had the makings of a bartender. Refills! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is getting kind of warm in here. Refills! Finally. Ugh, what lousy swell. 
Don't compare to the yummy hair growths we really used to have here. No tip for you. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be tasty. I always said I had the makings of a bartender. Refills! Hey, wait a sec. What you doing? Well, my job. I'm meeting customer demands. That's what the ancient Romans called service. Because only satisfied customers are paying customers. Right? Where do you hear that nonsense? This is a pub. People's dissatisfaction is my livelihood. If you keep on like that, I'll be ruined. The only thing that's your and here is your attitude. Take a look around. Fantastic stuff. That would put hair on your chest. Yeah, if only it was just the chest. Mm, the best swill I've had in ages. Yoo-hoo! Hmm. <laughs> they actually look rather happy. Told you so. <laughs> Heavens to Betsy! Ow!